Will computers stay the status quo or are they on the verge of evolving into something entirely new? I'm Scott Stein and this is a look at the Microsoft Surface Pro tablet, the high-end version of what debuted in some ways last fall with the Microsoft Surface RT. Now, they look similar, but Microsoft's take on the Surface Pro side is a lot more high-end and a lot more like a real computer, because it is a real computer. Underneath is a Core i5 processor, third generation Intel, there's four gigs of RAM, there's a 64 gigabyte or 128 gigabyte SSD, and also you're not gonna be limited to RT style apps. There's a full Windows 8 operating system and Intel HD 4000 graphics. This is $899 or $999 for the two configurations, so it's not cheap. And keep in mind, that price does not include the iconic, really the number one thing we associate with the Surface, which is the really cool keyboard cover. The touch cover or the type cover, these are the very same covers that work with the Surface RT, are not sold with the system. You have to buy those for $119 and $129 each, respectively. Honestly, if you're going to get a Surface, you're going to get one of these, and I would recommend going with the 129 type cover, which has a pretty fantastic keyboard for its size and a little multi-touch trackpad right underneath. It docks magnetically, does it seamlessly, and it works about as well as any peripheral I've ever seen, even those in the iPad world, and it really one-ups any keyboard covers I've, I've ever experienced. It's really easy to use. It's fun to use with this. Now, keep in mind the kickstand on the back, which comes out, provides a laptop-like experience, but you can't technically put it on your lap in the same way. I was able to lap type, but it's really meant to stand on a table. And you'll have to get a little used to the footprint here. But when you cover this up and use it kind of like an iPad or a tablet, it becomes an all-in-one cover, it's a very portable and fun way to travel. Now, the Surface Pro is heavier and thicker than the Surface RT. It's a little under two pounds. Same vapor mag construction here, magnesium, very solid feeling, but there's also an additional vent around the side. It's a hairline vent in the back, and you can hear fans inside uh, activate very softly if you hold your ear up, and it gets a little hot if you keep it down on a bed or something like that and compute for a while. Um, now, included with this is a pressure-sensitive pen, the Surface Pen, which comes and attaches to the side here in the very same my magnetic port that's used for the uh, AC power. It's a comfortable pen. It's very useful for drawing and apps. You don't get the keyboard, but you do get the pen. And another thing you don't get is a full version of Microsoft Office like you do in Surface RT. Here you're getting your basic suite of apps and the kind of pre-installed set of stuff that you'd find in a full Windows 8 laptop. Now, is it worth the money? Well, I think that this is a fantastically designed package. I think that it's a lot of fun to use this type cover or touch cover, as the case may be. I think it definitely proves the point that tablets can be used like computers, especially when they have peripherals that are this smart. But the price is a little high when you look at the landscape. You can get an Ultrabook right now with similar specs for 800 or less, and you can also get an alternative option, which are these lower-powered processors inside tiny laptops, much like the HP Envy X2, which includes a keyboard and a trackpad, albeit running an Atom processor uh, for about 850. So you are paying up here for the extra processing power and the design. You might find yourself a little hampered by the storage limitations here and the fact that there are port limitations. This has one USB 3.0 port. It also has a mini display port and an SD card slot, and that's pretty much it. There are a few other nice design touches on the Surface Pro. The AC adapter comes with an extra USB port for charging external peripherals at the same time clever. And this uh, Surface Pro doesn't actually need one of these keyboard covers in order to survive. In fact, even though it's something you want to buy, just keep in mind you could connect a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to this and be just as fine, especially since it's got a built-in kickstand in the back. But absolutely, Microsoft has done the job in showing that tablets can be full computers too. I'm Scott Stein and that's a look at the Microsoft Surface Pro coming out February 9th.